friends, welcome to my channel, Derek's View. Uh, in this today's video, we'll be checking out the new shotgun 650. I'm going to the showroom right now. Uh, let's go and see what is that bike, how is that bike, and uh, let's see how different it is from the Super Meteor 650. Let's see, let's go. So this shotgun was launched two months back, two months earlier. So right now, I want to go see that bike because uh, many of them are commenting, they are confused between shotgun, super meter and all this. Let's see, let's see. So the GT650 is a cafe racer, Interceptor is a roadster and uh, super meteor is a cruiser. This uh, shotgun comes under uh, bobberish kind of design. It is not a proper bobber because it is it is a very unique bike to be honest, guys. Let's go and check it out. But uh, I heard that shotgun is quite heavy. It is 20 kg heavier than uh, the GT 650. produces 47 bhp of max power and 52 newton meters of torque and uh, this uh, shotgun is producing 46 bhp of max power and 52 newton meters of torque with same 648 cc engine parallel twin so hey guys this is the shotgun 650 The new 650 from the Royal Enfield lineup. Fantastic bike, man. Looks very nice. It doesn't look large like the Super Meteor, but then this is a little bit compact. Tire size is nice, fat. Front is also nice, big tires. And uh, that's how the design looks. Paint quality is very nice. Really nice bike. Exhaust sounds really good, guys. Listen to this. It sounds really different to uh, compared with the GT650 and the uh, other uh, 650s. Sounds really nice. It has a nice rumble to it. Looks pretty good. From all the angles man, get the LED tail lights. LED headlamps from the uh, 650 lineup. So this is metal up front. This is metal. Nice flowing design. Metal guys. Mud guard is also metal. GT650 gets plastic mud guards. Metal. Everything is metal. It is very heavy, but then it is not a sh gas shock suspension. Just a regular uh, show suspension. 
front is also show and the rear is also show and uh, that's about the walk around let's get riding the exhaust is kind of wider guys so you guys can see it is little bit outside so it is it should be a little bit difficult maneuvering inside like in the city traffic and all let's see so in the dash it says uh, time for uh, this paper navigation gear indicator and fuel gauge listen to the startup sound guys so far the seating position is like normal classic 360 footpads are forward set not fully come fully covered like the super meter it is in the center set position kind of smooth guys but handlebar feels a little bit shorter see if you are taller you should be comfortable but then if you are uh, shorter it will be like you need to lean in a little bit so it is like that kind of a bike horn is worst guys not even nice horn is very bad it is not like a royal enfield other than that the seating position everything feels very nice nice sound yaar that bassy exhaust note is very nice let's see how it rides Brakes are very nice guys brakes are too good Brakes are too good very nice loved it the very sharp wear brakes are very sharp Doesn't feel heavy that much but when you are pushing it kind of feels heavy man Sitting position is also nice it is not like the super meteor where you sit above like this This is nice compact feels very nice man the brakes are very nice yeah. very nice but it is not flexible like the gt gt or the interceptor it tends to ride straight it doesn't do that clicking stop because it is little bit heavier side and bike is fantastic man seating comfort is very nice guys it is upright you don't lean that much and it is quite comfortable if at all it should be very nice nice yaar nice bike Sounds so good, man. Love this exhaust. It is not like the interceptor and the GT50. It is much more bassy or it is more comfier. It is pretty good. Yeah. You like it, man? done with the test ride experience at Ronenfield HSR Enterprise this is where i took my bike also that's a fun bike man very nice very nice bike and if you are a person who takes bike for longer rides 
short than could be or short. Other than this, super meteor 650, super meteor is not that good, guys. Because uh, super meteor is a cruiser segment bike. Super meteor is a cruiser segment bike, and uh, it is very low to the ground. Ground clearance is not so not that great. Seating comfort is not that great. So if you guys can, if you are looking for a tourer, highway tourer, go for the shotgun or the interceptor. Best one. video guys hope you guys liked it make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like the video please hit the like button it really motivates me a lot make sure you follow me on instagram guys i post photo editing videos and other stuff and uh, that's it guys i'll see you guys in another video until then tata bye bye